Yo guys, welcome back to another video and today we're going to be talking about features that I would love to see in Madden for 23 or just stuff in general that we could see in Madden for 24, 25, whatever it is, just want to see it eventually in Madden for, it would be sick. Um, so yeah, without further ado, let's get straight into the word from the sponsor and then let's get straight into this video. You want to know something cool? It's called One Football. It is the best football app around and it's free. How crazy is that? As you can see on my screen, we are loading up one football, aka the best football app around. And uh, straight away, we can see the homepage, which has all of the rumors, all of the articles, and everything right there. So we take a look over to the matches while we can see the upset of Tottenham today. Oopsie. If we take a look over to Discover, we have live football matches, we have most viewed clips, and uh, everything like that. And we take a look over to my profile. I've got my favorite teams and competitions here. And I get notifications from all of these games at my will. You can turn them on, you can turn them off. So, how great is that? As you can see, One Football is pretty great. And if you haven't got it yet, what are you doing? Scan the QR codes on screen, look on the link in the description. There's a lot of ways you can download it. And let's get straight on to the video. All right, guys, so as you can see in the top left corner, it is 12 11 a.m. It is late and I am recording because the grind is real and I've got to get the content out for you guys. You know how it is. I've got preparation for my Tim and Bond World Cup, which is in Australia uh, in for three days. So I'm trying to record videos for the day to upload while I'm over there, stuff like that. I'm probably going to be able to release three, maybe two or three videos in two weeks while I'm over there, you know, pre-record stuff. It's going to be hard. So uh, yeah, please. Bear with me, I'm trying. Uh, it's just gonna be a very slow next couple of weeks. So yeah, I will be working very hard until I leave. And then once I'm over there, I'll be focusing on, on nothing but bowling uh, and getting into the zone for that. So yeah, guys, uh, without further ado, let's get straight into this. So map for 23 is where we are at now. And to be fair, it's pretty good. It's definitely better than map for 21 and better than map for 22, but it doesn't compare to Paisy Bits 20. One of the videos that will be coming out when I'm in Australia will be map for 23 versus Paisy Bits 20, uh, stuff like that. So. Yeah, what do we have now? We have draft, pack, packs, latest cards, market, fatal, draft cup, objectives, SBC, LTM coming soon, trading, squad builder, and that's about it. So what things would I like to see in Madden 23? The first thing I have actually mentioned before, and it is an arcade mode. So as you guys can see, we have LTM coming soon, limited time mode. Limited time mode is coming soon. It's been like that for a month and a bit. How often have we seen these? LTM coming soon very very often we've seen them we see them all the time we see it all the time and we are waiting forever so if we're waiting this long for new game modes why not just keep them in the game with an arcade mode see the LTMs that we have seen in the past are puzzles the uh flappy bird pacey bird whatever the hell it was called and then we also had stuff like pack battles bingo I'd probably already said bingo, I can't remember. And we also had other stuff like that in Facebook 18. So we're gonna have a look through some of them. So just make sure I don't miss any. So if we go into map 21, uh, what do we have here? We had Fatal, that was about it. Um, I don't think Fatal should be part of that. Fatal is like a whole different thing. In map 22, we obviously had higher or lower, and we also had the puzzles LTM. Uh, in PC, it's 20. Oh, I miss this so much. Um, we had bingo versus an online draft. We also had DBC. I miss DBC. I can wait for it about DBC. Oh my god. Oh, we had that stuff like that. So that could all be in the arcade mode. And Pace Bits 19, I can't really remember what we had. Versus Club versus online draft and DBC. Um, nothing else, I don't think. No, we did not. Pace Bits 18, I don't think we really have to look at this because, I mean, Foot draft and foot pack were two different games back then, which is pretty crazy. We had online draft, and I'm assuming in foot pack and foot pack we had uh, pack battles. Like I, I can't believe that when they asked if the game should be combined, I said no. <laughs> oh, how things change. So um, yeah, going back into Map of 23, imagine if we had a mode or well, a little tab in the game where you could play bingo, puzzles, high or lower, pack battles, verses, and stuff like that. And we also had DVC in there. Oh my god, this game would be so much more fun. Content released, new rewards drop, everything like that. But not getting rid of these LTMs, keep them in the game, 
and also had something to grind for. So uh, for Bingo, you had the cards. For all these LTMs that we've had, you upgrade cards with the points you get. Include that, and just means that you can play with any of these new arcade modes and upgrade these cards. It's more of a point. I've always made series on these new things like Hyrule Law. I was like, oh, let's try and get this guy to 99 rating. But it was boring because I was always like, okay, I'm just going higher or lower getting a streak. But if I can go with that, and then I'm like, oh, I'm getting bored of this, and then I can go play some bingo, it's way more fun. I can just go between different modes and still try to upgrade the same card with the same purpose. It's just more fun, there's more variety, and it means that you're able to just play more game modes, and it's more, it's more enticing to play if you know that there's not just one thing to do. Stuff like that. I feel like that'd be a really, really, really cool, really cool thing to see. Even the DBCs. The DBCs could be like, when you complete this, you get this many points to go towards the card. I think the hard part is is finding how these different gamers would correlate because obviously some of the gamers you might get less points than others but then I'm sure there's something they could do to make it fair so one of them is not more overpowered than the other like so the higher or lower you had more a lot a lot of points whereas the puzzles you didn't get as many points but during the puzzle it took less points to upgrade the cars whereas higher or lower took more points so they'd have to try and get a really good balance of making sure that one of the gamers isn't really overpowered but I'm sure it wouldn't take that long I mean, the, all these games that they've made, I'm sure they're still in their system. They just have to implement it into the game. Like, surely. I don't really understand how it wouldn't. Um, so yeah, I mean, I would still love for them to work on the LTMs, but I'd just love to see them all integrated into one little section of the game and have more game modes, stuff like that. I feel like that'd be so cool. Uh, I just feel like it's something we're missing out on because we're always just waiting for new game modes. And if it's finally here, we're like, whoa! And then a week later, we're like, ah. Oh. So, like instead of hyping them up just have them in the game already and we can choose to play them if we want to upgrade these cards it would also make fatal my club more interesting because you wouldn't just have all the insane cards and that's it if you play the game more and play with all these arcade mode games more then you could have more and more really really good cards that can go to your fatal team to also boost that too i feel like that'd be awesome so yeah i feel like that'd be something i would love to see in madfoot I, I really hope Matt has seen this video because I think it's an amazing idea. I know, uh, a bit biased, but like honestly, it's just so good. So, I mean, yeah, it, it's. I, I feel like it would be more intriguing to play this game. And that leads me on to the next thing. If it's more intriguing to play the game, then less people like to hack it, mod it, stuff like that. So, um, yeah, hacking, glitches, bot trades, not good. Mods are not great either, but if there's no trading with them, then it can't break the ecosystem. But, when you have something that can be game breaking, like a glitch or bot trades, things get really bad real quick. I wish Madfoot was better and more thorough with making sure bugs don't exist, like the unlimited coin glitch, uh, the duplication glitch for packs, and there's a token glitch as well in the market. I mean, stuff like that is game breaking. And obviously, add on top of that, bot trades, like I said yesterday, oh my god, things just get out of hand real quick. I wish Madfoot was investing more time into preventing these sorts of things. I don't know how it happens because I'm obviously not a game developer. So if ever that hasn't done it yet, it's probably quite difficult. So um, yeah, I don't really know a whole lot about it, but I just wish that we didn't see that more often. Um, another thing that I'd love to see is special packs with coins, unlimited special packs with coins, I should say, or just pack other packs in general, unlimited them. Because if you have these and there's less need to be able to do the mods or then there's less needs to get these glitches, there's less needs to get these coin glitches, there's less needs to do these bot trades because we've already got these unlimited special packs. And if the special packs cost 100,000 coins and 100,000 coins is relatively hard to acquire and there's no coin glitches, then it's not going to be that game breaking. I mean, we had unlimited uh, special packs in Pacey Bit 17 and it was great. And when we didn't get the Pacey Bit 18, I was really mad uh, because it was really hard to get good packs then. And I feel like it's still the case, kind of. Obviously, it's a little bit easier to get good packs now, but I feel like it, it would be a really, really cool feature to see those unlimited special packs back in the game, especially towards maybe Team of the Year where, you know, people start to not play the game as much. I feel like that's quite a common theme. Maybe a side game it's fine because you don't really want everyone getting 100% collection running easily when the icon's like the only special packs and packs. But when Team of the Year and stuff comes out, I feel like that's a really, really good time to add these special packs with coins, unlimited of them, in the store. I just feel like it'd be a really good idea. And maybe you could do special plus packs or double special packs in the store for 200,000 coins, unlimited of them. Just something like that that we could do just because why not? Because if you're going through the lightning rounds right now, the packs we have are pretty trash. Triple special pack, we've got one of those, one of special pack, one special pack, and that's it. And then you've also got these random packs which you can watch an ad for an 8794 icon, which is obviously really good, but 
I mean, there's no really there's not really a selection for opening special packs in the store. So I really wish we could see unlimited of those. And yeah, basically that's it. Mad for 23 is a great game. Don't get me wrong. I just wish there were more things that we did see. Um, it's very late though, so I should probably get some sleep. Um, but yeah, like I'm really, really hopeful that they can see this video and add some of the stuff. I will probably send this link to them so they can review it. Um, so yeah, guys, thanks so much for watching and peace out.